I'm going to talk a little bit about the sort of programming um, that we do and how we approach development. Um, I know one of the units you've got is, is procedural programming, or, uh, but proceed, I guess another name for procedural programming is functional programming, and which is probably a more common term. Um, but functional programming is very much what we do. And functional programming is all about creating functions that do a very specific thing. Um, a lot of web design, a lot of web development has evolved to the point where actually, um, you know, you, there are concepts like object oriented program, which is you kind of make the objects seem like it is in the real world. It's, it's quite a heady concept. Uh, functional is a lot more simple to understand because it's you break it down into things that do very specific tasks. Um, Facebook have been instrumental, really, in pushing this, especially, have you ever heard of React? Uh, React is Facebook's front-end JavaScript framework. Um, all their user interfaces now are built on React. Uh, JavaScript, um, Facebook's interface is, is incredibly complicated, but works very, very well. Um, and I won't go into that one, but taking our application again, just to try and break down a little bit about how we structure it and what it means to sort of break things down into functions and components is I've got the sort of page that you've seen before, but I've started to break it down a little bit. So I've put red boxes around various UI components. So we've got uh, like a top account menu bar, we've got top nav, we've got these tabs in the uh, survey builder, we've got uh, these stage tabs. So the email stage, the feedback page, the thank you page. Then we've got this build panel here. We've got this kind of little tab here, which pulls it up, pulls it down. Um, we've got these tabs here, which tab between different build panels. So this one's for the color palette. We've got another one for images, for copy, for email settings, for more general survey settings, uh, picking themes. And then you've got the main interface here where you can see visually what you're building. But if you start to break it down, these things, and we often, when we're building stuff, we'll do it the wrong way to begin with. We'll build, when we first built the campaign builder, uh, it was huge. It was, it was it's this kind of huge 2,000, 3,000 line JavaScript file that, the thing is, it just makes it a nightmare to look at it. So this is why people break stuff down into smaller chunks. Um, so this is kind of the, one of the kind of premises behind functional programming, behind component-based design. Um, so just, I did put a more complicated example, but I'll just show you the really simple one. Um, so this tab panel here, okay? When you click it, that panel goes up. When you click it again, the panel comes down. Simple, 